What's up, Aries, Kings, Queens, and everything in between? I am Austria of Unbothered Queen, and today I will be channeling the collective of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Saturn, and Jupiter in regards to a career and finance message for the first week of um, July through the first week of August here. All right. So we have prosperity come through. Lighten your load and love. Okay, with blessings at the bottom and travel. So you're moving towards your blessings here with fucking confidence. Okay, you could be dealing with the passion project here, um, but you're being guided to focus on your own well being here. Um, you got to put your mask on first. These people will be all right. All right. We also have justice. This is meant for you. This is um, your karma. What's coming towards you is yours and yours alone. No one did this shit but you, baby, okay? So don't let nobody tell you no different. Let's see. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put these. Yeah, don't take on too much. You need to focus on yourself. And whatever is meant for you is not going to pass you by. So keep that shit in mind also. Seven dice messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, and Saturn. Very concise messages. Have don't let your past hold you back self note we also have the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in capricorn didn't we just have a full moon in capricorn because it's a strawberry moon yeah it says the answers you need are coming and then we have hold your vision fixed moon all right this first time i ever seen this card too <laughs> that's crazy um So let's go ahead and jump right in here, but not look not so fast because spirit is nosy and so am I. Well, I guess spirit knows, but I'm nosy, so I'm about to ask the question. Um, what from their past do they need to work on to not um, hold them back? What from their past here? What from their past? All right, we have the Nine of Pentacles here, the Eight of Swords, and the Justice card. All right, um, with the Hermit card in the reverse and the Six of Swords, I mean Six of Wands in the reverse here. So I'm really getting strong love and energy here, or strong emotional um, energy here. Also a sense of being isolated or stubborn. Virgo energy here, yeah. Don't self-sabotage yourself here. And don't let false soulmates keep you from, um, keep you in a space of stagnation here. You need to mentally know that you deserve this as well. That's what I'm getting. No negative self-talk here. All right? Because I'm getting a lot of you guys do a lot of negative self-talk. I'm feeling like this isn't something that you deserve, but maybe it is. Okay? It, it really it really is okay what's the past energy that's moving out here for spirit sorry for aries sun moon rising saturn and jupiter what past energy in regards to career and finance moving out all right we got the ten of cups in the reverse here um happily emotional place here that energy is moving out in that in the reverse energy so um some of you guys could have been dealing with issues from a broken family here or dealing with attachments here which could have been why i saw that nine of cups and two of cups in the reverse here so those issues your move yeah confusing Ill, um illusions play seven of cups things that um I'm hearing things that you felt like you didn't have a choice in the matter of or things that you felt like um, 
you could have possibly not use your intuition in those things are coming to an end that energy is you're moving from that all right what um is the current energy that's coming in for aries sun moon rising the jupiter and saturn spirit what's the current energy that's coming in for them all right thank you ten of swords here and it's a lot of tens y'all got you guys are ending a lot of fucking shit here um okay so you need to understand that there are possibly going to be some ups and downs here um but the ups and downs do bring you to a place of reunion here with the three of cups because you could be separated from something some of you guys could could be um, um losing your job here uh, or possibly but it's like an ending to start a new beginning here like things aren't happening to you they are happening for you here Give me the darkness of the dawn, ten of pentacles here. So I'm definitely getting a sense of separation or some sort of stagnation and disappointment here. Some of you guys could have been um, also just a small number. Um, a friend did something to you guys. Yeah, see, look, the chariot card. And the chariot card is all about victory and triumph here and um, alignment. So your um, things that are not for you are getting pushed out of your um energy so that this newness can come in here for you guys yeah and there's no need to rush towards anything everything is coming towards you okay you don't have to chase anything down okay yeah all right let's go ahead yeah what challenges is Aries facing got the chariot again three of wands the queen of cups and the lovers card okay a lot of you guys are choosing to take your um to take your you know okay i'm sorry so a lot of you guys are focusing on doing something that you love here okay to so focusing all of your energy and confidence in doing something that you love this is all about expansion um of freedom here and putting in a lot of effort to get things done um unfortunately some of the things that you're trying to get done may um, take up a lot of your time and it may appear that you are in some sort of restriction here or uh, spending a lot of time by yourself here but you're really just trying to bring your goals into fruition so don't let others tell you how to do your own shit basically um i'm also getting a sense here that a lot of you guys are are making decisions that or doing things that are uh, aligned with your purpose here so good on you you know good on you with that yeah definitely an upheaval of a lot of uh stability um a lot of like um things that were har harmonious in the in the um past here um it's definitely a switch here where you are moving out of a pace of a low uh confidence or instability and you are being replenished with just uh so much confidence uh, a lot of things to celebrate is coming to um is coming towards you here what doesn't Aries see coming? What doesn't Aries see coming? Okay, what's going on behind the scenes? Spirit said it refers to questions. So. All right. I don't know why, but we don't look. Okay, because I'm I don't I'm not even using that deck, so it's funny. Okay, but, so, you know, I kind of go with whatever I'm supposed to do. Okay, you're leaving people um, in the dust. A lot of relationships that you formed um, in the past, even possibly soulmate connections, um, long-lasting relationships like from childhood. You're leaving, you know, people... You're having a sense of pride about yourself and your time. You're forcing people to either respect it or move the fuck around. Like, because you, you have a mission to be in your nine of pentacles. That's your mission. And you're not going to let anybody deter you from your fucking mission. And that's good on you. All right. What's coming up in the near future in regards to business, 
finance and career for Aries. Okay. All right, we got the messenger of romance and invitations. This is the Knight of Cups. This is, again, about doing something that you feel very much so passionate about here. Um, okay. King of Cups here in the reverse and the Nine of Cups in the reverse. Okay. A lot of people going to feel a certain type of way about this. A lot of people going to feel a certain type of way about this. Everyone is not going to get it. And people could feel like you're a workaholic and you're not really giving them um, a lot of energy or time here. But you're at peace with that. You're at peace with being a workaholic because this is this is what you're supposed to be doing. A lot of people are feeling like, you know, they have unrealistic, uh, unrealistic expectations on you. A lot of people are wanting you to slow down here. A lot of people wanting you to fail, too. You know who these people are. King of Cups in the reverse. They're talking, um, being very uh, in some like toxic ass energy here, you know. So definitely having um, aggression towards you, like what's that called? Like when you're not putting the aggression in the right place. They mad at some shit that ain't got shit to do with you. All right, so that's crazy. All right, give me. Give me D. Give me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Prior to. <laughs> Spirit said, fuck them people. Uh, with the Two of Pentacles and the Judgment card, prioritize your calling. Period. That's what's, <laughs> that's what's important. Nobody worried about these people. Because they're, they're not going nowhere. They're stuck. Six of Swords in the reverse. They're not going nowhere. And they don't want you to go nowhere either. They want you to stay stagnant with their ass. Fuck that. Okay? Um. Alright. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get some messages from the universe for you guys. Clearing concise messages here. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. It's like I get a lot of um, views, but no one is subscribing. I need y'all to subscribe, y'all. I need y'all to subscribe. All right. Uh, okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. It says, you glowy beam. Thanks. It says, in case anyone should ask, your heart isn't so large because of your wings. It's your wings that are so large because of your heart. Sometimes loving so much can be pretty heavy. Thanks for all you've shared the universe. P.S. is just another one of those nutty body algorithm things. What will what you give will come back. When in doubt, give, let them have it. Surrender, make peace. When there's no doubt, give, let them have it. Surrender, make peace. Did I make life too easy? The universe. There's no doubt who is number one in my book. Shh. Then we have you have what it takes. Alright. Um, Spirit's giving me to give you guys some of these as well. Which is self-care here. Alright, so we have a dream journal. So go ahead and, and start you one. We also have abundance planning. Go ahead and start start doing that. Then we have watch a movie. Take some time out for yourself. Just chilling. And connect with your ancestors here at the bottom. And we're going to get you guys an affirmation. Well, one at least. Two probably. Affirmation spirit. Okay. All right. It says, I give blessings. All right. And then at the bottom here, we have, I communicate with compassion. All right. And I guess we'll take this. I speak positively of others, and all of those other ones hit the floor, so we're not going to worry about those, um, but we are going to see, okay, so you're saying I don't need to do that, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it here, thank you so much for all of your love and support, I send it back to you guys tenfold, again, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.